everyone, this is a product demo and review for a brand new product exclusive to www.smokejuice.co.uk. It's a portable vaporizer called the Eye Inhale. It's uh, designed and produced by uh, an Irish company. We have the device itself in the box, and that's the actual product there. It also comes with a handy carrying pouch, it's very durable. A quick starter guide and the operating manual. Also included are some additional accessories, um, extra mouthpiece, some pipe cleaners, some metal gauzes and this is important if you are considering using it for liquids, for nicotine liquids, etc. There is this sort of spike in the actual atomizing chamber which using this brass tool provided you can remove very easily, it just unscrews and we find optimal performance if this is taken out. So, so it's made of a very durable plastic um, to EU regulations to withstand hot temperatures. Uh, the mouthpiece here, the chamber in there, where we'll be demonstrating later, um, the butane refill spot, the on-off switch and the ignition switch there. So I'll start by adding the extra mouthpiece. We're using some Janty Virginia, it's propylene uh, glycol based liquid two to three drops gives you roughly around a cigarette's worth so ten to fifteen puffs and fire it up you can hear it's fairly noisy switch the ignition you see a little orange light come on so this is now warming up and it runs nice and warm great winter accessory if you the hand warmer oh. normally from cold they recommend waiting up to 45 seconds but with the liquids you could probably get away with 20 to 30 seconds when it's been running warm I mean this has it, it's ready to go a lot quicker so it, it comes with a two year guarantee um, and I'm going to run through some of the negatives first while, while I'm going to demo. It does run at a constant 190 degrees. So unlike an electronic cigarette where you inhale, the atomizer heats up, this is constant whilst you're inhaling. It is fairly noisy, as I've already pointed out. It's also larger than an electronic cigarette. It's roughly 4 inches length by 2.5 width by 3 quarters of an inch depth. So about the size of a mobile phone walkie-talkie slips in your pocket fairly easily, um, but not as small as an electronic cigarette. The build quality itself, very durable plastic, robust. Um, it's no iPod to look at in terms of quality, but very durable and to EU specs, so peace of mind for that. Um, there is a shorter uh, run time between refills, so I'd say 30 minutes of constant use, but then to refill, standard butane lighted fluid <coughs> takes about 30 seconds to a minute to refill, and be careful not to overfill. It's not, if you do happen to overfill, you may have to wait sort of 5 minutes before you can use it, but um, it's, it's fairly easy once you get the hang of it. Also, the other negative is, I mean, it might get you unnecessary public attention if you had to pull it out of a bus stop or in a restaurant, etc. Um, I think these devices are going to become more readily accepted, and they already are. Um, it's it's not like an e-cig where you do, you know you could fit in with a crowd of smokers. Um, it will probably get some eyebrows raised.
So on to the positives. It doesn't have a battery, so purely butane to refill and, and the butane powers it. There's no flame. It's got a catalytic converter which combines the butane with the oxygen to regulate this constant temperature. There's no atomizer, so in terms of cleaning, um, you're not going to get a clogged atomizer and you're not going to have to replace constantly like you do with electronic cigarettes. Um, cleaning is very easy, you just take a cotton wool bud and some alcohol. And really with the, with the manufacturer's liquids, they run so clean you probably won't need to clean it. It's produced all to EU regulations, so um, again, peace of mind in that regard. It is also easy not to vape continuously, which I find with an electronic cigarette, it's there you do tend to just vape constantly. Whereas this I have cut down on my vaping. You run it for a couple of drops, three drops, four drops, and then you switch it off, put it down. So in terms of upkeep, extremely cheap. Only butane. I mean, this costs one pound fifty for my local shop. Um, the flavours I, I find tend to taste better because I think with electronic cigarettes, the atomizer does build up a sort of tarry substance which really mars the flavour. Whereas this, I've noticed a lot more flavour coming through, and the fact that you can maintain and keep it clean makes a huge difference. It is fairly portable, I'd say. I mean, it does slip in your pocket, so, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of not bad in that regard. It's also fantastic for home brews if you're into DIY liquids. Um, I have noticed in my home brew a sort of tarry substance appear, which just shows how pure these manufacturers liquids are. But um, it hasn't really put me off my home brew. And in fact, the glycerin mix itself is very good in this. And I'd recommend if you do use um, a manufactured liquid to thicken it up a little bit. You'll get longer lasting liquid that way. It works well with either propylene glycol or glycerin. Glycerin I find very good actually. Um, and yeah, the neutral points. It does run warm, which might bother some people. It does get away from being cigarette light which, I mean, it is innovative rather than imitating, um, and I think that's a positive, but some people might want to just be able to fit in with the crowd. It can also be used for tobacco or other herbs, such as mint or anything you like, really. Um, that's what it's designed for, so primarily. So that's the added bonus. We get mo some moist tobacco and, and, you know, it should work fairly well. I've tried it with some very dry tobacco, which I wouldn't recommend. Make sure it's fresh. Um, it does sound like a portable hubbly bubbly with a liquid. Obviously, a couple of drops inhaling through that, you'll, it will cause a bubbling effect. It, it doesn't bother me, but again, it might bother some people. I'll just demonstrate my homebrew quick. I've got time. A glycerin based mix with um, a tobacco extract. Anyway, thanks for watching. So it's the I Inhale. It's available on www.smokejuice.co.uk and I found it exceptionally good. The jaw is like sipping air through a straw, so very light.